This is Ascari. It's a sinuous ribbon of tarmac that makes it the best playground in the world because it's a private, personalised test track up in the mountains near Ronda in southern Spain. And it's here that Peugeot has brought us to test drive the revised and updated 308 GTI 270 by Peugeot Sport. You can see it right here. Here it is resplendent in the so-called Coupe Franche two-tone paintwork. Black at the back, blue at the front, red is also optional. And yeah, okay, it's a bit show-offy, it's a bit maybe slightly naff, but I actually quite like it. I think it makes the car look really, really tasty. Maybe it's one of those things that only works well under a hot Mediterranean sun, but nevertheless, I think this is a pretty tasty looking car. Peugeot has altered it very slightly on the outside. The grille is slightly changed, the lights are slightly changed, the bumpers are slightly changed. Now you will need either a microscope or a damn good magnifying glass to be able to spot all this, but it does keep the 308 shape looking reasonably fresh and reasonably good. It is a terrific car to drive. Now, in saying that, it's possibly not quite as pin sharp as the best Volkswagen Golf GTI, the one with the trick front diff and the extra power, but it does have a truly fantastic engine. This 1.6 THP engine has been around for almost a decade now, but Peugeot is still able to squeeze out a very, very commendable 270 horsepower from this unit and still get it to score reasonably good economy and emissions. Not so much here on the racetrack perhaps, but certainly out there in the real world. This is one of the easier hot hatches to run when it comes to emptying your wallet and upending your pockets. Now to drive, you'll notice straight away that it's actually quite soft and the steering is a tiny bit on the vague side. It is not quite as good as you want it to be and definitely putting it out here on the racetrack was perhaps not Peugeot's best idea, particularly when, like me, you overcook it dramatically into a left-hander, stick it on the grass and it all gets a bit silly and a bit embarrassing for a few seconds. Now that said, it does find its way around Ascari pretty well, but as I say, it's a car better experienced on the road than on the racetrack. This is not the kind of hot hatch, in spite of the chassis tuning by the experts at Peugeot Sport, the same people who've won Pike's Peak for the likes of Sebastian Loeb. Now in the inside, it's pretty good. Now I know not everybody is keen on this small steering wheel and those high set instruments and it is a bit of a shame that Peugeot hasn't brought across the big cool digital instruments from the 3008 and 5008 crossovers. And there's not quite as much space in the back as you would like there to be, certainly compared to the likes of the Skoda Octavia RS, this is a pretty cramped car. Nonetheless, quality levels are very good, there's an improved touchscreen and infotainment system and these Peugeot Sport seats are fantastic. Big and broad enough for someone like me to get comfortable, but still supportive and relatively chunky. There's lots of nice touches like the little red stitching and the red filament in the gear lever and these little Peugeot Sport kick plates. Now, we weren't just here for the 308 GTI, we were also here to try out the 308 Racing Cup. Now that's a car built for one make racing and 24 hour racing by Peugeot based on the 308, but which is also basically an ambulatory pile of scaffold with a very tweaked up engine which now has ha ha ho ho 308 horsepower. Peugeot did let us loose on the track with it where I essentially completely embarrassed myself but it was enough to find out that A, my backside won't fit into a racing bucket seat and that a 308 racing cup in the right hands potentially could be a very quick and indeed very cost effective way to go gentleman racing if you fancy doing that at the weekend and you've got a spare 70 or 80 thousand euros sitting around. The regular car, well, you're going to have that in uh, 250 horsepower form, which doesn't come with the Peugeot Sport Tweet chassis, or you can shell out just over 40,000 for this 270 horsepower version with the Peugeot Sport Tweets. It is actually well worth it. Not quite as brilliant as the Golf GTI, but damn close and a good looking car at the same time.